This video presents how to ensure data safety on BIM Cloud for projects, libraries, and server configuration as well. BIM Cloud helps IT and project managers with advanced, easy to perform backup and restore features. The first feature is called Snapshot, which regularly creates a snapshot of the project's current state and stores it for the defined time interval. Select the project route in the navigator. Activate the Snapshots panel on the right and click Edit to schedule project and library snapshots. The schedule controls are similar for PLN, BIM project, or library snapshots. You can choose from Don't Create, Hourly, and Daily options, and then the frequency of snapshot creation can be defined precisely. The snapshot schedule defined here is inherited, so applied to all the subfolders and their content, projects, and libraries. If you wish to override the default settings, select a subfolder, a project, or a library and define a local snapshot schedule for the selected item. It is also possible to manually trigger a snapshot creation if the project administrator would like to keep the current state of the project as a reference version, for example, before publishing. These manual snapshots are kept indefinitely and will not be removed automatically. If you need to get back an earlier version of the project or library, you can use the rollback feature. Let's see an example of a project rollback. Brenda is working on a project. She reserves walls. and accidentally deletes a wall, and then sends the changes. Gary, the lead architect, who is a project administrator, realizes that the wall is missing and decides to restore the previous project version. He selects the project in the BIM Cloud Navigator. In the Snapshots panel, he selects the desired automatic BIM project snapshot and clicks the Rollback button. You can roll back in two ways. You can overwrite the original project with the snapshot, or else create a new project out of the snapshot with a new name. Let's select the second option, give it a name, and click Rollback. When the rollback is complete, Gary can join the rolled back project and copy paste the missing wall into the live project. The temporary rollback project can be deleted from the server now. Besides the project and library snapshots, it is also possible to create a backup from the entire BIM cloud. It is called BIM Cloud Backup and can be separately configured for all server components. Note, this feature is not available in BIM Cloud Basic. BIM Cloud Server Backup includes all teamwork data, such as projects, libraries, their snapshots, activity log, and server configuration information. BIM Cloud Manager Backup includes folders, users, roles, access settings, and manager configuration data. The BIM Cloud Server Backups are enabled if you check the Create Server Backup box during the configuration process of installation. If you skip this step, you need to rerun the configuration process from the BIM Cloud tray icon and enable the backup separately for Manager and Server as well. Note, it is recommended to set another hard drive or computer for the BIM Cloud Backups. In our example, the BIM Cloud is installed to the C drive, and the destination of backups is the D drive. After you have enabled the BIM Cloud Backup, you can use the controls on the Backups panel to schedule, create, and manage backups of the BIM Cloud Manager and BIM Cloud servers. You can also create a manual BIM Cloud backup at any time by clicking the Create button.
Note, only one copy of each backup type is retained at a time. If a backup fails, then the last good version is kept. Let's suppose you get an unexpected malfunction on a server computer, so you need to restore the content of the servers. If the corrupted BIM Cloud installation still exists, then that installation must be uninstalled first. Then you need to reinstall a new BIM Cloud server and BIM Cloud Manager separately. Make sure you install exactly the same version of the product, otherwise the restore will not work. Note, if it is possible, use the same address and port settings for the new BIM Cloud server as for its original installation. In this case, the BIM Cloud Manager can locate the newly installed servers automatically. After the installation is finished, you can see the newly installed BIM Cloud without projects and users. Let's restore the BIM Cloud components now. Use the BIM Cloud tray icon and activate the Restore from Backup separately for BIM Cloud Server and BIM Cloud Manager. In the appearing dialog, browse for the BCSB extension backup file for BIM Cloud Server, and then the BCMB extension backup file for BIM Cloud Manager. The length of this process depends on the number and size of the projects on the BIM Cloud Server. Once it completes, BIM Cloud will start and you can continue to work. Here you can find the restored projects with the same folder structure and their project snapshots. And also the users are the same as in the original BIM Cloud. Keep in mind that the projects will be reverted back to a state they were when the BIM Cloud backup was created.